Hey guys, welcome to the podcast and also the videos that are going up respectively on Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube. Wanted to chat to you today about pain and using our pain as a tool and the benefit actually that we get from pain. And I was chatting today to some of the patients at one of the rehab centers that I'm fortunate enough to work at. And we spoke about what is our pain. And some of the answers that came back to me were, you know, it's a weakness, it's um, having hurt people that we care about, it's the guilt and shame over the destruction that we've caused in our lives. And this is speaking specifically from an addict's point of view. But what I've learned over the years, and this is something that I'll keep sharing, is what addicts have been through is, and, and what we go through, is a, an extreme version of what everyone else goes through. That's what I've seen in the last 14 years of being sober. So addiction is at the extreme ends of, uh, of life, of emotion, of uh, our thought process, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about others, and so on. So I, I wanted people to break down where their, what their pain is, because our pain is our pain. It's unique to us, but it's also very similar across, across everyone, really. And the thing for me that, that I, I learned is that my pain shows me in my life where I can grow and where I need to work. What are the areas within my life that I need to work? What are the areas within my life that I need to, to expand? And, and so on. let me just zoom that back. There we go. So, you know, we don't, we don't grow out of things that give us tremendous amounts of pleasure as much as we do out of things that give us pain. So we can sit with our pain and our heartache and our anguish and our, our challenges now and we can feel very negatively towards our pain. We can say, you know, our pain is bad. It's uh, showing me um, how weak I am, how pathetic I am. One of the things was weakness. And, you know, if, if we look at things that around weakness or um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, flip. <laughs> I'm getting old, guys. It, and it's been quite a week. But... Um, you know, we're, we're we procrastination, um, not getting things done that we need to do. So what what is that? What is the procrastination? What is the weakness? What, what are these things of the avoidance of pain? And that's really showing us that I what I've seen and what I believe is that showing us really perhaps we don't have enough self-worth and self-value. Because if we believe that we worthy we will stay in the pain for longer if you believe that you deserve um <laughs> you know a six pack you'll stay in those that that crunch position or that plank longer to put it very simply if you believe you deserve to be sober if you believe you deserve to be free of childhood trauma if you deserve deserve to believe in yourself then you will fight and you will stay in that pain for longer. So sometimes if we stop and we quit before we even start moving forward to, to our goals, we need to question ourselves as to why. So our pain is showing us where to go. If our pain is around anxiety, um, not being able to cope, not being able to deal, not being able to pan you know, not being able to cope and panicking and all of these things. Maybe our pain is showing us that we don't feel safe. My greatest pain, <laughs> flying on an aeroplane, I, uh, I really don't enjoy it because I deal with my, my safety by leaving a place that I'm not comfortable. They don't allow you to do that on an aeroplane um, when you're up in the air. 
they kind of want everyone to stay on board. Uh, very selfish of them. Um, <laughs> so pain is a tool. Pain is a tool for us to gain understanding into ourselves. And it's a tool that is an opportunity for growth. How I found the best way to work with that and unpack it and recognize it is feeling where I feel the pain physically. So it's even just thinking, I was like, my, you can hear my breath get short and I feel tightness in my chest. And I feel my, my chest closing up in pressure like someone sitting on my chest. That's where I feel my pain. That's where I feel my anxiety. And then I have to sit and think, when is the first time I felt that? Where did I learn this feeling from? What happened or was happening at the first time I felt this? Because what I've sort of realized is, we might live our lives as adults, but we feel a lot of the stuff as kids. So we can take an emotion back. We can take our anger back, our rage, our fear, our pain back to when we first felt it. Because that's when we feel stuff very strongly. You know, I, I'm sure I had a couple of tantrums as a kid. I don't know how many I've had as an adult because... We feel we, we can logically and rationalize what we're going through. But with pain, it takes us back immediately. And I think we feel it. We feel it as a child, as w when we were younger, when we first felt it. And in speaking to a lot of people, thousands over the years in recovery, they've said that, no, maybe they were in university or in uh, high school and we unpack, we talk about it, I ask them questions in terms of taking it back. And it finds that it, we find that it usually brings them back to sort of four or five years old. And all of the stuff I've learned through unpacking it myself and then sharing that with people. So our pain is a tool that shows us where we need to work in our lives what we need to work on. And it's also a tool that will teach us where we first felt it. We need to sit and think, where do I feel it physically in my body? Where is it sitting? What does it feel? In my chest, what does it feel like? In my tummy, what does it feel like? In my neck and my shoulders, what does it feel like? When did I first feel that? The other gift that pain gives us is when we feel those things physically, we can understand that what we're actually feeling is the pain from the past as well as the pain from the present. And that gives us the opportunity to maybe put the brakes on a little bit and to sit with it rather than reacting on it. Because, you know, some of the greatest advice I ever got in my life was... Thoughts and feelings are not taxable, but our words and our actions are. We can think and feel whatever we like, but they will only bear consequences if we act on them. So if we sit with this pain and we want to explode and we want to scream and yell or do something crazy or, in my case, drink, I can say, where, where did I first feel this? What, what is, it's reminding me of that feeling when I was a child and I saw or experienced X, Y, and Z. Okay, now I understand why I'm feeling. When we understand it, we can deal with it as an adult, not as a child. So guys, that's just something that I wanted to share with you today. I've committed to putting out one every day for you. And... Um, very simple, not edited, nothing formatted, nothing fancy, just simple and easy. So pain is a tool. Think about it as a tool. It doesn't make feeling it less severe, less uncomfortable. But we can understand that pain is not going to control us. It's a tool. And we can utilize it to add value to our lives, to add benefit to our lives in understanding and using it. 
and that way it has less power over us. It has less power in it causing us to explode and rage. We don't want to explode and rage. One of the greatest lessons and gifts that I found for myself was the understanding that we may believe things or we may think things as an adult. I know them. I know I'm a good person. I think I'm going to make another video and uh, podcast on this. I know I'm a good person. But do I believe I'm a good person? I know I deserve a good quality life. But do I believe I deserve a good quality life? I'd like to chat to you guys about that tomorrow. Because when we start to use these things and understand that they're tools and develop them, develop that skill set, it becomes a skill set. It becomes a habit. And we gain far, far greater insight. Guys, thank you very much for listening. Please feel free to share this video, to share this podcast. And um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to share this with you. I love you guys. Oos. This is me trying to click the button, you see. <laughs>